Hey TVC Kindle, I'm Brother Tyler and we're here again today with another Kindle Daily Devotional. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about Laban and I'm going to read from chapter 30 of Genesis verses 25 through 27. And it came to pass when Rachel had born Joseph that Jacob said unto Laban, send me away that I may go unto mine own place and to my country. Give me my wives and my children for whom I have served thee and let me go. For thou knowest my service, which I have done thee. And Laban said unto him, I pray thee, if I have found favor in thine eyes, tarry. For I have learned by experience that the Lord hath blessed me for thy sake. Now, uh, I'll give you a little bit of context of this chapter and uh the end of the chapter before the end of chapter 29. So at the end of chapter 29, God starts allowing Leah to give birth to children and she gives birth to four children. And this is where we start to see the names of the tribes of Israel. After all, these are Jacob's sons and Jacob is called Israel. So <clears throat> not long after that, in uh, at the beginning of chapter 30, it's just like naming off all these children that are being born by Rachel and Leah alike um, through uh, not only Rachel and Leah, but by their handmaids as well. Um, and so we've got all this time and then there's some little family drama that goes on. So now Jacob's got all these kids. He's got all these kids to worry about, all these kids and, and his wives and everything, which is all just really crazy and lots of drama and craziness. And he's like, Laban, I've served you enough years. Let me go to my own place. Let me go provide for my family myself. And he, he kind of talks about that later on, a few verses later. And for some reason, Laban's like, no, no, no. I want you to, I want you to stay here with me more because I have learned that you, <clears throat> the presence of you being here blesses me. Because God blesses you, so I'm blessed. So he said, I want you to stay here. And, you know, I'll, I'll try and find some things to work out. And Jacob's like, no, let me go. I, I've been with you for way too long. I'm ready to get out of here. You know, you have to think. At the very least, Jacob has been with Laban for 14 years. He worked seven years for Rachel at first. And then Laban tricked him into giving him Leah. So he had to work seven more years for Rachel the girl that he wanted in the first place. And now he's got all these kids. So it's probably been you know, anywhere from 14 to 16 years, I would imagine, if not longer, maybe even around 20 years because of all the children that have been born at this time. And Laban thinks that he's got <clears throat> the ability to just say, no, stay here more. I, I want to get blessed more. And I want to talk to you guys about this thought, don't be like Laban. Because Laban saw the blessings of God through Jacob, and he wanted to take advantage of it. Laban was selfish, he was greedy, he was a liar, he tricked Jacob multiple times with things like this. Don't be like Laban. <laughs> and I know it's a pretty simple thought, it's simple devotional but I hope I left you with this uh, with this thought, and I know a lot of you guys would not go to this extent or whatever, but either way, it's something really interesting in the Bible. So I want to give you that thought today. Don't be like Laban. Don't take the blessings of God for granted, and don't take advantage of them for your own selfish desires. So I hope I gave you a really uh, peculiar challenge today. I hope I uh, blessed you. Thank you so much for watching this devotional. I will talk to you guys again tomorrow. God bless.